Hey, it's me, Kelly, the Take Action Wom, reporting to you live from my urban jungle here in Lima, Peru. Um, I want to talk a little bit today about something that has been popping up for me. Uh, some some information, some phrases I've seen lately that is kind of the same thing, and it keeps coming up over and over. So I said, okay, you've hit me in the head enough times. I guess it's time for me to get the message and talk about it. Um, a lot of people ask me what it is that I do for a living, how it is that I make money online, and I explain it to them, or send them a link and let them see what it's all about, and then they tell me, oh, I couldn't do that, I don't know how, I wouldn't know how to start, or especially people who have jobs will give me excuses like, oh, I don't have time to do that, or... Oh, I'm too worn out at the end of the day. I just hope I don't have the energy to do something like that. You know, by the time I get home, all I have time for is cook dinner and put the kids in the tub, and then I'm exhausted and it's off to bed for me. You know, but even even some stay-at-home moms who are really who say that they're really looking for a way to earn money while they stay at home seem to be afraid to do what they see as devoting a lot of time to this. Now, I have a feeling that in a lot of cases, that's excuses because they don't see the value in what I'm doing. They don't believe that they can really make a living at it. So they give me an excuse, oh, I don't have time for that because they don't want to talk about it anymore. They don't want to say, they don't want to tell me the real reason is, I don't believe I can do that. I don't believe that system works when obviously it does because here I am, here are all my f several friends of mine doing very well with this system. So... Um, but if people don't believe, they don't believe, and you're not, you know, you just have to convince them one way or another with the truth. But um, <clears throat> for people who honestly believe that they don't have the time to do this, but want to do it, there are, I mean, there are people who say, I really want to do this, I just don't know how I'd find the time. Or I really want to do this, I just don't know when I would have the energy First of all, and this is the first thing that's been coming up over and over for me in the last few days. Oh my gosh, these dogs. The first thing that's been coming up for me over and over the last few days is if you want it, you need to want it as badly as a drowning man wants to breathe. I've, I heard um, Dave Wood, the founder of our company, I heard him say this in a, in a call the other day. I've read it in two different places. When you want this as badly as a drowning man wants to breathe, you'll do it. And, and honestly, that's, that's the key. You have to believe that you can do it, and you have to want it. There has to be something that you want more than anything. <clears throat> and when you want that, and you see this is the way that I'm going to get it, it, it happens, it works, and you can do it. And you'll find a way to do it. You think you don't have any time, but if you really want it, you find the time. Um, there's like, when I was younger, um, around 30, um, around 20 years ago, let's say, now, now you know how old I am, um, I wanted to go to a particular school. It was a technical training school. Um, well, it was Full Sail University. Um, and I wanted to go really bad, but it cost a lot of money. It's a very expensive school. My grandmother had told me that when I was a baby, she created a savings account for me that was to pay for college. So I went to my grandmother and I said, guess what? I'm finally going to go to college. I'd like to get that money. And she looked at me and I was like, um, we don't have that money anymore. Well, they had it, but, but it wasn't in a easy, easily available. It was, it was invested in ways that they couldn't really take it out. She says, we thought none of you were ever going to go to college. <laughs> so, so we took it out of that account and put it into something that makes better interest, but we can't just take it out now. And she was really upset. I mean, she, she felt like you know, she disappointed me, which I didn't want her to. But anyways, um, she did, they did write me a check for $5,000, which covered part of it. But then I went and started researching, and with help with the financial advisors at the school, I did manage to get student loans 
to help me pay for the rest of it and managed to and did find a way to go to school now I could have gone to my grandmother and she could have said oh gosh I'm sorry we don't have that money and I could have said oh well yes I'm not going to full sale but I didn't because I wanted it more than anything there, there was at that point in my life there was nothing nothing that mattered more to me than going to that school and whatever I had to do I was gonna do it while I was there I you couldn't hold a full-time job while you went to classes there because you had classes all day all hours of the day and night you never had like a specific class schedule because we had labs <clears throat> so sometimes I might be at class at 11 o'clock at night sometimes I may be there at 11 o'clock in the morning but I made it work I figured out a way to do it and I did it and I made it work because I wanted it more than anything else on earth I wanted to get that degree from that school and I did it um, now how does that apply here when you want something more than a drowning man wants to breathe wants a breath of air you'll find a way to do it if you're drowning if somebody's holding you underwater do you think you're just gonna sit underwater and well let's just see if he lets me up no you start fighting and kicking and biting and scratching and clawing until you get to the top and you can take that breath of air and when you want to be successful in a home business it's the same thing you have to be ready to bite and fight and kick and scratch and claw until you get what it is that you want <clears throat> and that's that's where the second thing that I keep coming in, into contact with is it's this idea of pay yourself first now if you've heard of pay yourself first it's an economic idea where a lot of people who want to start saving money for their future Raina Raina hey hush now people who are trying to save money for their future and say gosh I never have any money left to invest or to put into savings by the time I pay the bills and bought the food and put gas in the car and all this stuff there's just not a penny left well the key to that is to get a direct deposit if you can and have money deposited directly out of your savings or out of your paycheck before you ever see it have it go into a savings account that you don't check into you know apart from your regular bank account and pretend that money never existed in the first place I used to have $25 a month taken out, or $25 a week taken out of my paycheck put directly into a bank account and I honestly I forgot about it I worked the job for a couple of years and wow it was a nice little cash sum when I quit my job and needed to take that money out I had enough to move I you know it helped me out a lot but that's what you have to do you have to even I mean even if you're working for yourself if you want to save get your money every time you get paid for something before you start paying bills before you put gas in the car before you go to the grocery store take 10 percent of that money and put it in a bank account <clears throat> that's how you save money you pay yourself first and working for yourself is the same thing if you are still working a job or if you've got kids at home and you feel like you don't have time or you're too tired or whatever pay yourself first work for yourself first get up in the morning and do an hour of work if that's all you've got time for do it do it first thing in the morning you'll wake up feeling like yeah I'm ready to go I'm gonna do this because you want it more than a drowned man ah, more than a drowned man wants a breath of air you want it you'll do it you'll get up in the morning and you'll get it done then you can deal with the rest of your day and at the end of the day you're tired you're exhausted you don't have time for anything else fine you've already got that you've already put that 10 percent away for yourself and if you do that every day every morning get up and do an hour 30 minutes an hour and a half two hours whatever you've got to get stuff done in the morning it's like it's like a savings account you're investing that little bit towards your future and before you know it you're gonna be able to leave that job that you've got where you're working for a, for the man just trade in your time trade in your precious hours of your life for a paycheck why not live the life you want to live and you know I've suggested that to people and they say oh but I hate getting up in the morning I hate getting up in the morning I'm telling you I hate getting up in the morning ask anybody that knows me I hate getting up in the morning but the thing is how bad do you want it if you want it bad enough you're gonna get up early in the morning you're gonna do it 
How bad do you want it? Don't let your job, don't let your life hold you under. Get up, fight, scratch, claw, bite, kick, tooth and nail to get what it is you really want. Don't give up what you really want in life for what you think you want right now. You know, you may want to sleep that extra hour, but what do you really want? Is that one hour extra of sleep, is it worth trading away your whole life working at a job and never seeing your kids? Is it worth it? So, now I'm getting myself emotional because I know what's important for me. I want to be with my family, and I am. And I will do whatever it takes to stay here with my family, to be with my family, and not have to go to a job, to not have to deal with somebody else's rules and somebody else making decisions for how much money I get to make and how many days off I get to take and how many times a week I, or how many times a year I'm allowed to be sick and how many times a year I'm allowed to go on a vacation how many times a year I'm allowed to just say you know what I want to lay in bed and watch Game of Thrones reruns all day I get to make those decisions nobody else gets to make them for me and if that's the kind of life you want there's a link right there Click on it. Join me. And I'll see you on the inside. Until next time, this is Kelly, the Take Action Wom. Take care.